What's going on, Beaches? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more Ask Papa Swolio. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And remember, if you want your question featured right here on the show, drop your question in the comments down below with the hashtag Ask Papa Swolio, and I'll feature you in an upcoming episode. Yes, Tessie, we're going to answer some questions today. No, yes, yes, we are. We're going to get into some questions. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Ya beaches. Shall we get into this juicy juice? All right. Let's see what we got here. We got one from Briannaism. Briannaism. Or Briannaism. Briannaism. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. I just like... I like getting into it, fam. I like to really get the feel for this person and their question. Well, she wants to know, I want to lose... 10 to 15 pounds this month, Papa Swilio. How do I go about this? I've been Googling it, but there's so much information. Do keto, no keto, intermittent fasting, don't intermittent fast, just do weights, strictly cardio, any advice on what I should do. Also, I'm two pounds down today. I meal prep and exercise for an hour each morning. I picked up kickboxing. These videos have been great motivation. Well, thank you so much, Brianna. Very happy that my content is inspiring you. So thank you for the question. Now let's get into it. Um, let's get into this pretty deep. So let's break it down from the beginning and we'll go through. I want to lose 10 to 15 pounds this month. That's way too much. It's way too much. It's so much more than what's healthy. Now, the issue with this is most people think that a pound doesn't mean anything. A pound of fat is about 3,500, that's 3,500 kilocalories, okay? Or calories with a capital C. 3,500, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of calories, wouldn't you say? Kilocalories and calories are the same. Calories with a capital C and kilocalories. It's just scientific jargon. But 10 to 15 pounds this month, so you do the math. It's 10 times 3,500 in terms of calories of fat. So how do I go about this? You don't. I mean, it's healthy to lose one to two pounds a week. You might lose more if you are very, very obese. But at the beginning of your weight loss journey, you're always going to lose more. So I think what really happens is most people don't stay on a weight loss journey, right? That's most people start and restart over and over again, don't they? Most people continue to start. They always start. They're always starting. I've been talking about this in the Extra Thirsty. I've been talking about this on the Daily Swole. I've been talking about this on the NOC, on the Swanormous channel. I've been talking about this for a, a while. People just start and they always start because they're always stopping. They're always ending. So they have to start again. It's like if you never quit, then you don't have to keep on starting. So we have this idea that 10 to 15 pounds in a month is even possible because a lot of people at the beginning, at the start of their journey, at the start of their fitness, at the very start, they lose a lot of weight because it's a new shock to their body or they have a lot of extra body fat. Or they have a lot of extra water weight and bloating, which is super common, or they're eating really shitty. So when you eat from, go from really shitty eating to really healthy eating, you lose a lot of weight fast. That's not how it normally works. So we have this like idea that, hey, I'm going to start losing weight. How can I lose 10 to 15 pounds this month? That's not healthy. You don't want to cut corners with this shit. So, and what's, and here's the thing. What's the deal? I'm going through this piece by piece. What's the deal with this month? You need to get healthier for the rest of your life. You need to keep this 15 pounds off or 10 to 15, like forever, right? Don't you? I don't know anything about you. There's not enough information in this for me to give you an actual answer of what you should lose or gain, or I don't really know who you are. Like, I don't really know who you are. I don't know anything about you other than what you're just texting here. I don't even know your name. So like, it depends on how much weight you have to lose. What if you're already anorexic and you're extremely emaciated? You shouldn't lose any weight. Maybe you should be gaining. So check this out. How do I go about this? I've been Googling it, but there's so much information. Do keto, no keto. Now, first off, keto is fundamentally cutting out carbs. And most people don't do keto properly. They do keto, they do nasty keto. They do dirty keto. They do that sloppy keto. You know what I mean? They do the sloppy keto, the sloppy, wet, nasty keto. That's what they do. That's what they do. They do nasty keto. They eat cheese and they just put fucking vegetable oils on everything as long as there's no carbs. Well, carbs, 
kind of hook onto water molecules. When you cut carbs, guess what you're going to do? You're going to cut water. So a lot of people lose a lot of weight really fast when you start going keto at the beginning. And then it plateaus and people, oh, it's not working. Something's wrong. Oh, I'm not meant to lose weight. Oh, I guess I'll just be fat forever. Oh, let me may as well just join the fat positive movement. So keto can have its pitfalls too. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not for everyone. Intermittent fasting, I, I, I intermittent fast, essentially. Time-restricted eating window, I think that's great. I think that's best for most people, whether or not you eat two meals a day or you eat from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. or 2 to 6 or 4 to 8, that can vary. But I think most people eat too much and you don't have to be so hyper-vigilant of managing every last detail of your food, especially if you're eating quality ingredients and you're limiting your time uh, to eat during the day. You can eat plenty satisfying food and you want for no more after or before. So that's a very good habit to build and that works for a lot of people, but again, not for everyone. Just do weights, strictly cardio, you should be lifting weights. You should be lifting weights and doing some cardio for enjoyment, perhaps. Um, go for a walk. Yoga is great cardio. Kettlebell work is great cardio. If you like running, just running. I don't like recommending running to most people just because heel striking is really bad for the body. And most people have terrible running form. Plus, if you're overweight, you shouldn't be running anyway. It's not good for your joints. You can't handle that kind of impact or you don't have that hip and ankle and knee stability. So maybe swimming. It is the summer after all. Depends on your access though. So walking, walking up and down stairs, lower impact, but that could be stressful. Depends on your body structure. If you have trouble with your knees and discomfort, just even walking is great. You don't have to do any crazy cardio. Weights, eating healthier, in general for health, like I, again, you're trying to lose weight. You could do cardio, you could do it, but it's mostly about the calories that you're consuming and the quality of the foods. Quality of the foods is paramount. I'm just really not convinced or really satisfied with this 10 to 15 pounds this month. It sounds like you are going to be cutting corners and cutting corners, people cut corners when you're focusing on the scale as we're gonna get into this next part. Uh, also, I'm two pounds down today. I meal prep and I exercise for an hour each morning. I picked up kickboxing. These videos have been great motivation. So again, thank you. Uh, two pounds down today, great. But you might be two pounds back up tomorrow. You fluctuate a couple pounds day to day. So just because you're down two pounds today doesn't mean you're not gonna be up two pounds or up three pounds or up one pound. Are you weighing yourself every freaking day, Brianna? Stop weighing yourself. Tessie says, stop weighing yourself, you boosh. Stop weighing yourself every day, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Once a week, it's fine. But that's also not all your progress. If you're building muscle and lifting weights, you might not lose as much on the scale because you're building muscle. Again, I don't know all the details. I mean, it's literally, I don't know if you're 6'5 or you're 4'5. I don't know if you're 200 pounds or 450. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know a lot about you. You're saying I want to lose 10 to 15 pounds. If you weighed 450, you'd probably be like, I want to lose two to 250 pounds. So I'm assuming you're, that's kind of like this ideal weight that you have or something that you remember or something that you think you would, you would want to be at. You need to set better habits. You need to stop looking at the scale because if you're looking at the scale and this is for everyone watching, not just Brianna, this is very important. If you're just looking at the scale, you are going to cut corners to see that number drop and you are going to do fit tees. You are going to do extreme diets. You're going to do everything under the sun and jump from one thing to the next without any coherent, anything tying it together. And that's a big problem. You know what? You should check out the seven pillars. Check out the seven pillars, Brianna. Go to Swanormous X. That's our site. Check out the links in the description below and download the seven pillars because the seven pillars are the foundation for whatever else you're going to do after that, whether you're intermittent fasting or doing keto or running or cycling, whatever it is. You focus on your community, nutrition, training, recovery, mobility, mindfulness, and consistency. The seven pillars. And when you go to the site, it's right there at the top in the red bar at the top. You could download your free copy. You get a full beyond the seven pillars ebook, you get the seven pillars themselves. Um, and then you also get an audio file. 
so you can um, listen to some more context. I literally talk you through the seven pillars and it's it'll give you a different aspect and a different approach, different mindset to your fitness. So you're down two pounds today, which is great. But again, don't look for the quick fix. If you set the right habits and you're doing the right things day to day, you're not going to, you're not going to need to focus on the weight loss because it's going to come off. Like that's what happens when the right habits are set. Okay. You meal prep, you exercise for an hour each morning. You have the habits down for the training. You need to get the habits of your mind locked in for the journey. This is not whatever you're trying to do. Shouldn't be for a month. It's for the rest of your life. But that's so, that sounds like an infinity number the rest of your life. Oh my God, it's forever. I can't, can, you can't conceptualize that. So you have to focus on the habits today. Okay. You can't be glued to the scale. Fuck that scale. What are your other habits? What's your water intake like? What's your breath work like? What's your yoga like? What's your meditation like? What's your community and your stress levels like? You see what I'm saying? What's your food quality like? You didn't talk anything about the elimination diet. Hmm? Again, if you want to learn more, check out the links below. But Brianna, you got work to do. I think you are not focusing on the foundation. Like I said, the seven pillars, that's my approach. That's the Swole Fam's approach. Um, and that's what we do inside Swole Normous X. So that is what I always want everyone to focus on are the principles, the seven pillars, and then all those other things that you're asking, those come after. And they usually don't even have to get asked because you're focusing on the right things to begin with. So thank you, Brianna, so much for your question. Thank you for your support. Remember fam, if you want your question answered, drop in the comments down below with the hashtag Ask Papa Solio, and I will be happy. And I look forward to featuring you in an upcoming episode. Tessie, say goodbye. I got a swole burp. Say goodbye, don't be rude. Say goodbye to them. All right, fine. She doesn't want to say goodbye. Well, goodbye, fam. I'll see you next time for the next APS. Peace out. I don't give a fuck what you think.